Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 33 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here Pisces and see what's going on with you today. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same-day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below, Pisces. Thank you. I'm going to get all the cards out first and then I'll tell you what I see. Okay, Pisces, so overall, it looks like here that you are very well aligned with yourself, with life, with God, spirit, whatever, whoever you believe in, if you even believe in anyone or anything. A lot of you can have an amazing best friend that you know you can trust and you love and care for them and or you are in a very beautiful marriage or relationship um, or you're single and it just, you're one of those people, rare, rare Pisces that are single and you really are enjoying your life. You feel good with you. You're not really obsessing over relationships and wanting to be someone and jumping into that, getting all desperate. Okay. You feel really good with the emotional choice of who you are and what you're doing. And it starts out, you know, with you in this energy of, you know, uh, really creating all these opportunities for yourself and working really hard based on this opportunity here whether you got offered something or you offer something to someone it's like you considered all your realistic options of what you'd like to do and it may have caused a little bit of light stress but it was more so like an anxious excitement and a happiness and kind of like okay whatever here we go i'm gonna do this like fuck you know but in a fun way and you know meanwhile you plan and you're very patient and you're waiting and while you're waiting you still do things to take care of yourself and plan for certain things while you're waiting for a lot of good things and fun things coming through and while you're waiting it looks like you're reflecting here on a lot that's been going on in your life and maybe about your career path jobs or who you work with or collaborate with it looks like you jump right into getting back to work doing what you need to do here for yourself okay now right away i will say there's either you have a coworker who is obsessive and pissy and shitty over you, your own mom or dad or parental family figures that are toxic and dysfunctional that are trying to deal with you, or maybe someone you recently divorced or an ex, like an ex. So either or, okay? <clears throat> so um, it starts out with, like I said, you're just focused at your job, literally working, doing well with others, working well with others, having your collaborations and all that, and it's really nice that's where and then I say all the things I said because it's like this is where it for some reason I don't know what you're doing or why or how it has made someone basically uh 
I don't know, did they fail at their job? Are they not succeeding? It's like, are they trying to be greedy and get recognition and success out of you or through you? Are they trying to get you to notice them? Like, I don't know here because they, it's like they're facing public humiliation or a bad reputation, one or, you know, one or two, uh, three, uh, or it's gone. If they get wiped away, I don't know, like something doesn't work for them anymore. I have no clue. They're not, I don't know, something's going on where they're not having it with their own level of success you're aware of this though like you know why or who um and you're just super calm you're actually like really reserved and conservative about it you're just like okay you know um and this is where you know they you know it's a few things either you are in a marriage or relationship and they hate you for it or they hate who you're with and they're trying to home wreck and break up your marriage or relationship for some of you others of you this is your ex who's just being stupid <laughs> or um family members that are still trying to be dysfunctional that you have cut off but they're trying to get involved in your life still regardless they show the dysfunctionality and and for some of you this is someone that's in their own marriage and relationship and they're definitely cheating on them and not doing the greatest with them but somehow they're involved with you or trying to be regardless that's made you just stay focused at your job you're like well i'm back to work i don't know what's going on i don't give a shit and i gotta work i'm busy i'm gonna be productive and you know you know do your own pisces thing with however you do your thing with your imagination and stuff it, it, just you literally working and being productive that's what pisses them off and I'm talking pisses them the fuck off. And I don't know why. And like the last cards are just them, well, fucking up with their own finances. That's for damn sure. I mean, they hate you. Then they get all aggressive. Then they then they want to, I don't know, are they talking crap to you? Did you guys get in a fight? Are they trying to get in a fight with you? Are they trying to pull you in on something stupid? Because when I say hateful, at that point, it's like, hey, the word in itself, hey, is just so, it's soft compared to how they feel. <laughs> It's, it's just beyond aggressive. It's just like, you know, are they trying to bully you? I have no clue. Then you would think it makes them happy if they try to, but it's like now they're more upset and pissy and moody and emotional. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what they're doing. They're very cold and manipulative and strategic. And this is because of someone who's a karmic. You've already closed out the cycle. You already know who this person is and they're still trying. They're still trying. And it's like, they're gonna keep going the same destructive karmic cycle over and over and over again. And it looks like it's about money. Like, are they, a, I don't know. Did you used to help them out financially or do they think they're gonna get money out of you or off of you? They're not doing shit though. It's like, it's one thing to, you know, I don't know. Anyway, they're not doing anything. They're lazy with how they make their money and what they're trying to do, but then they expect to get all this wealth out of you. Literally, it goes into, they have the worst connections, business partnerships, their marriage or relationship is in a sham or they fucked up with their finances and they're being greedy. For whoever this is, there's like a community that hates them. Like what, whoever, like whatever they do at their job, like people don't even like them. You know what I mean? Like whatever they show up to do for work, like no one that they think is supporting them supports them. So I don't know. They like they're losing money. There's not enough, but then they think they can scramble and find ways to use you and other people. And you just you end it in your strength. You're like ah whatever. Well, it's not my fucking problem. <laughs> so you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Thank you. Bye.